Hi, this is Gary Wales. We're at the LeMay Auto Museum collection, and uh, we're getting a kind of a little bit of a tour from a gentleman by the name of Tim, who is the expert here, and uh, I'm with Jay Collin. Please say hello and introduce yourselves. Jay Collin, Tim Barbara. And Tim? Yep. Okay, we want to, sh oh, this is a little bit of everything here. We've, it's an amazing collection. I'm, we're starting in like in the third little part of the buildings, but I'd like to uh, run through these and kind of uh, see what we've got going. So, oh, there's Duesenberg's, everything else. Tim, why don't you give us a little bit of a run through here? Well, let's see. This was a uh, Catholic boys military school back, opened in 1923, and this is the gymnasium. And Harold LeMay uh, bought the place, so, um, I think it was back in 92, and that gave him a place to store some of his vehicles. Uh, although we have about 550 cars here uh, on display today, there is a little over 2,000 in the collection right now. The rest are in outbuildings elsewhere. There just isn't room here on the property right now to collect them all. Tim, how many uh, automobiles did uh, Mr. LeMay originally collect? At, you know, what's the highest amount that you had at one time? At one time, he had as many as 3,400 cars. <laughs> he uh, was a collector. He was, he was a collector, definitely was. My one regret is that I never met Harold personally. Uh, he died in, in the year 2000, and I've only been doing this about four years. I hear a lot of really good stories about him. Uh, a lot of everybody around here that has known him over the years he always has something good to say. Something good to say yes, about him. definitely. I noticed that uh, being a car collector, if you're a collector, you are a collector. We just went through an amazing collection of uh, something I hadn't even thought about collecting, and that was the uh, water nozzles for hose nozzles. And it's just absolutely amazing collection. But it's just I want to come by and just show a few of the things that really make it interesting. Because not everybody can relate to every car, but they always have something that they can relate to, a family memory or something. Uh, like a, a song or a, or a t kit or whatever heck it may be. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. And this is a, a, a fantastic, fantastic place. I'm looking through a, a window here that's looking into another building. And there's uh, pickle helmets from World War I. And just, it's just everything. There's so many interesting things. Here's a, a lovely collection of of uh, hubcap grease, uh, uh, greasers, uh, uh, caps. And uh, it's just really, truly uh, fantastic. We if, we, if you collect cars, you collect everything else that goes with them, and then you, you just can't stop. You get one, you keep going, going. Look at here's dolls. These are part of uh, Mrs. LeMay's collection over at her home, about a mile and a half from here. She mm -hmm. has between 1,500 and 2,000 dolls of all kinds. <laughs> and she brought a few over just to, like you say, to give a little feel of history. This is absolutely amazing. It, it is. It definitely is. There's a little 300 SL pedal car that I know people that would give their left arm, maybe their right through, too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Engines. Just, my God, there's absolutely everything. Look at that. Just isn't that wonderful? This truly is an amazing collection. And there's enough room where you can put some of the great big signs and uh, memorabilia in here, just just absolutely wonderful. Look, he's got them stacked up here. It's just it's uh, it's a wonderful. Here's a DeLorean and a Tucker and a Duesenberg. Now these are three rare old birds, and they're all the cars that we've seen so far are absolutely wonderful. And I bet every one of them drive and are used. The, and, indeed, everything in here is a driver, and we do use them, take them out for shows and so forth, so other people can see them even if they have yeah. to come to the collection. It's a big task. We have almost 500 volunteers out here. Two paid employees here at the uh, LeMay Family Collection and 500 volunteers. We need all of those volunteers for the annual car show the last Saturday in August. Yeah. It is just a big volunteer effort. It's, it's really... I know this is particularly cool for Jay because he was in the all business, as they say, and uh, all the big signs, and I, I, I know we're going to run into a million gas pumps and petrol, million and everything. It's just really, truthfully, a wonderful collection. And I'll probably shut it off here for the time being, but what a wonderful collection of cars, real cars from real people that you can really enjoy. And we've all seen these, and... 
and uh, are enjoying them. And Tim, I want to thank you again. I'll kind of spin it around one more time with I hope I'm not making everybody ill from going too fast. <laughs> but Tim, you're doing a terrific job, and uh, congratulations to both the LeMay family and you and your people and Dosens for uh, perpetuating this uh, wonderful collection, allowing people to see it. Uh, being with the Peterson, we have a reciprocal agreement with the uh, LeMay collection, and they allow us to come down here and uh, see this. And we got a little kind of a private tour, which is wonderful. And I uh, want to say thank you again, and uh, here away we go.